curb slow down cars are coming fast now so when i walk i always hear her in the background these memories are really all i've known so if i had a genie i would wish to go back home Yo, what's going down everybody? It is straight out of Boston here, aka the King of Boston, and today we have the final Jeff Samarja Connected Careers episode. This is going to be the career wrap-up, and we are in Super Bowl week. As you can see here, Packers and Texans are going to battle it out in Super Bowl 48, and we're going to advance week and see who wins. I thought I'd show you guys this part just because, I don't know why. I think last year the Patriots ended up beating the Lions like 52-7 to or something crazy like that, so this time it will be a new team winning the Super Bowl we know that much and let's see who won it Tom Brady is retiring that's pretty big news and Kurt Warner's on the comeback trail great one's back um all right let's all right not gonna tell us who won the Super Bowl don't know why it'll probably be down here sometime somewhere not sometime Let's see, let's see. Super Bowl really is the ultimate prize. Now the Packers become the hunted. So the Packers won the Super Bowl. That's cool. <clears throat> Congrats to Packers fans. So we have the eight off-season stages, and we are going to retire Jeff Samarja. I'm not going to retire him, actually, but I'm going to retire him and then not save it because I'm going to keep him in case I want to play him in live streams or something. But anyway, it's going to be like a ceremonious retiring. So we're going to look at his season stats, 246 receptions. Over 6,000 yards, 25 yards per catch, 387 receiving yards per game, 66 receiving touchdowns, new record, obviously, almost 2,000 yards after catch. Averaged 8 yards after catch at 31 drops, which is a little bit high, but as long as catch was 94 yards, it's pretty ridiculous. You can see his career stats now, I'm not going to read through them again, but 63 drops, a little bit ridiculous. On, I, should, I mean, I should have worked on his catching rating a little bit more, but anyway, you can see there on the, we finished 12 and 4 in the year. Number one ranked passing offense, number 32nd ranked rushing offense, tells you how much we ran the ball. Just that when you play on all Madden, the running backs just honestly suck. <laughs> and I spent a lot of his XP on these development packages, which I can't buy another one because I bought the maximum amount, but he has a like maximum development rating, so we'll get XP a lot more now, which is cool. I've had that for since like the second half of his second year. And you saw a quick glimpse of his stats there, but we're going to actually go into the... Uh, we'll go to the roster, the depth chart, so you can take a quick look at his... We'll go to the roster. Quick look at his final ratings before we end off this series. So he's actually not that high of an overall. He's just a beast because he is that way. Uh, number second rated wide receiver on the depth chart. Or uh, ratings, why I should say. I don't know what he's in the depth chart. But six foot five, two 225 pounds. I don't know what name. 83 overall. Uh, quickly goes through some key ones. 99 size. Great. That's good. Catching is an 83, catch traffic is an 85, spectacular catch is an 80, route running 76, release 85, jumping 90, speed is only an 87, I've upped that a little bit. And uh, the rest of these aren't really that important, but yeah, so you can see his ratings there, you can pause it if you want to look back at any of these. Never was a good kick returner, obviously, only 10, never kicked returned, never returned kicks, whatever you want to say. 99 injury, I don't know if they let you get injured in connected careers if you're a player, I'm not really sure. I've never really been injured, but we're going to advance all the way to the end of the, end of the, what you call it, end of the offseason. Actually, we might not do this because it takes a while, but we'll see. And we'll check out what team Kurt Warner goes on. I actually, I believe he's going to go on the Vikings. I know he goes on the Browns a lot, but I simmed through this once before to see where he ended up because I knew he would come back for a second year, and he went to the Vikings. So we'll see where he ends up. And yeah, Tom Brady retired. That's um, it's pretty big news to be quite honest. I consider him a top ten quarterback of all time. I don't know about top five. I, I try to keep my opinions unbiased, but whatever. I'm sure a lot of Jets fans and I don't know Giants fans think otherwise. Just New York fans in general. <laughs> but anyway, it's beside the point. So quickly, just advancing the off season here. We're gonna get into the preseason in just a moment. In fact, I, I think I'll cut this out till we get to the preseason. All right, so we're back in week one of the preseason, and we're going to quickly just look at who we drafted, try to find the rookies, just because I'm curious. Let's see if we draft a new wide receivers or maybe a quarterback. I'll just look at the key positions. It looks like we, I think I was drafted last year, but um, I think I was drafted last year. looks like we'll look at wide receiver. We've got Eric Decker. That's cool. Look at this freaking receiving core. It's so good. 
Tight end, still going with Kellen Winslow. We got this guy, George Wesley, Wesley out of Arizona State. And we're going to just look at defensive backs, I guess. Richard Sherman, Brandon Brown are still there. This <laughs> Byron Maxwell, is, he's a cool dude. DJ Glenn, uh, Earl Thomas as always. OJ Atogwe, Devin Lewis, the rookie. Cam Chancellor, and ooh, Brian Defingbird. And we got Mike Nugent as our kicker, John Ryan. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So I think we're still in 83 overall. Yep, still in 83 overall. But anyway, that's going to wrap up Jeff Samarge's career. Um, I'm just going to do a little ceremonious retiring and read some of the news feed about him. I'm not going to save it, though. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, let's see. Got to go out and go to my career. And we will retire as a Seattle Seahawk. Retire from the league. And, yeah, so Jeff Samarjo retires after two years in the NFL. And that's going to wrap it up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm out. Peace.